So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me now, I'll be running this Lost Sector with a very in-depth build that I made a whole video on previously. I'll briefly describe the build after I show you the location of today's Lost Sector. The exotic armor in rotation today is Boots. Today we'll be clearing with just one class, but there are builds for all three classes in the description. And with that out of the way, what's good guys, it's Zen, thanks for choosing my channel, and let's hop right into today's guide. Alright, now for today's Lost Sector, we're going to be dealing with Overload and Unstoppable Champions. Now with that being said, we're going to be using my Shinobu's Vow build on Ark Hunter. Our weapons today are going to be Wish Ender, a Glaive, and the Chain of Command Machine Gun. Now Wish Ender is here due to its heavy damage that it does. I mean guys, this literally one-shots every single ad in the game. It's doing more damage than Arbalest. Definitely going to want to go grab wish ender if you don't know how i'm gonna leave a link in the description we're gonna be using the glaive to stun unstoppable champions and the machine gun is here due to the heavy build synergy that it has now guys there is so much going on with this build i mean we literally have infinite grenades like, we'll throw two grenades, and they're both back four seconds later. Absolutely ridiculous stuff. So I highly recommend checking out the build in the description. And if you don't believe me, well, you're just going to see it right now with the gameplay. So with that being said, let's hop right into the guide. All right, now the first thing we're going to do when we enter the Lost Sector is just throw our grenades. Very, very fitting for the build that we are actually using today. What we're trying to do right here is just clear out as many ads as possible, and then we are going to deal with an Overload Champion. Now, again, the overload champion doesn't actually spawn until we clear out all these ads so that gives us plenty of time and honestly that is the order we're going to want to take care of them anyways so the design there is actually excellent for us because obviously dealing with an overload and a bunch of ads would suck now you see i just killed a sniper that sniper can do some heavy damage to you additionally these enemies like to throw their grenades at you and the thing about these grenades is they have a huge radius that you simply cannot jump over to so you guys are definitely going to want to slot some void resistance mods due to the combination of those heavy damage effects now as you can see we our build does actually cause jolt which does stun overload champions which is fantastic now we are almost done with the ads i believe there's just a couple more left but at this point in time we're going to start focusing down the overload champion because there is a sufficient enough ads uh, amount of ads dead and as you can see due to the arc surge our machine gun is leaving the boss at half hp after just half a clip from the mag and then we were able to finish him up after we threw another grenade now we're going to proceed forward that first room is very very easy specifically with this build now this next section can be quite difficult if you are not running it on void invisibility if you guys are running this on hunter this is going to be one of the few times i tell you you know you're not going to want to run the arc hunter build even though this is the best hunter build this season in my opinion Void Hunter just absolutely trivializes it because as you can see in this Lost Sector we are currently standing on a panel. Now there are three panels that we're going to need to fully charge up and when you're standing on these panels ads will start spawning around you and attacking you. Now we have completed the first panel and we're going to proceed to the next but like I was saying guys if you just stand on these invisible it doesn't matter if ads are on top of the panel you standing on the panel is charging it period so i highly recommend that you guys run graviton forfeit on void hunter if you just want to absolutely breeze through this now, you might struggle a little bit with the first room but it, you're not really going to struggle it might take a little bit more time but there's plenty of cover at the entrance now we have defeated or we haven't i mean we weren't fighting it but <laughs> you get the point we've completed the second battle and now we have the third one and on the third one there's going to be an unstoppable champion so you saw what i just did we threw our glaive to stun it and then we threw our super and that does do some sufficient damage but unfortunately the unstoppable champion will become unstunned so we're not going to get full damage with our glaive off or with our super off but we're able to clear up the rest with some glaive melee light taps now for this third panel it is quite difficult you can't really just uh face tank and like because the thing is there's no cover you're absolutely surrounded by ads so the thing about this third panel is you're going to want to clear ads jump on the panel leave when the ads are coming to this position i'm currently standing in you see we have this optimal high ground that is giving us 
sites on the entire lost sector were able to do damage to absolutely everything from right here so again the strategy for this third panel is hop on the third panel when ads come retreat to this position once you clear enough ads jump back on the panel start charging it and you guys are going to have to do that a couple times if you are not running this with void invisibility now obviously there's two other classes titan and warlock and non-invis hunters if you're on hunter don't run this if you're not doing it on on invis you're literally tossing if you're doing that but obviously titans and warlocks you guys are going to have to do the strategy that i just said you're going to have to employ that now when you stand on the panel again more ads are going to spawn like they just keep spawning now it doesn't really matter too much i feel like you only need to do that rotation about three times because the thing is like the third panel seems to charge much faster than the other ones. I don't know what it is about it, but I only sit on there for like five seconds doing that rotation of, you know, stand on it, ads come, leave, clear ads, go back and stand on it. I only really do that three times, and I'm only standing on the panel for about five seconds at a time, but it really seems like that it just charges much faster. As you can see, we only did it twice, and we're already done. Now, after the third panel is charged, all of the ads are going to converge in the middle, as you can see, and you're just going to clear them out from there. Then you can proceed to the next room. Now, the beautiful thing about us doing this with our Arc Hunter build is we are just doing ad clear absolutely amazingly. I mean, you see it. We're throwing grenades, and they're coming back four seconds later. Like, we just threw a grenade, and it's already completely back. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous stuff. Now, after you clear that you'll walk into that hallway clear out those ads and then you'll be in the boss room which we are currently in and as you can see there's going to be two unstoppable champions now there's one of two ways we could deal with them we can use our glaive into our rockets or we can use our glaive into our super i do or not rockets machine gun um i do recommend saving your super for the boss because the boss can be quite annoying especially if you are not using rockets like we are because the boss does sustain damage. It's it's a you guys know wizards, right? Like they fire off those sustained attacks. It it's something that you really can't trade with too easily with your machine gun. So you'll be popping in and out of cover. So I do recommend if you guys are going to use the arc build, switch to rockets specifically for this lost sector. The machine gun is not the play honestly in hindsight. Um, and every other class should use arc rockets as well. Now we dealt with those unstoppables really easily So at this point, we're just gonna throw our super back up a little bit and we're gonna throw our grenades Do some machine gun damage when we can and again We're gonna struggle a little bit in terms of trading with the machine gun But our super is just doing so much damage this season guys due to the Artifact mod boosting its damage when we are amplified and just like that we breeze through the lost sector Really really easy today guys if you know what you're doing Hopefully this helped if it did be sure to subscribe as I post lost sector guides daily I have a goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of the summer And if everyone watching this subscribed we could hit it in a week, which would be crazy Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace